Ministry of Environment has called for equitable climate finance to support the mitigation and adaptation measures in Nigeria. A Minister of Environment, Malarabe Abbas, represented by the Director of the Department of Climate Change, Inyobong Abiodun Awe, made the call at the third national climate conference in Abuja. Abiodun Awe said that the need to a climate reform is to make funds accessible to developed countries by minimizing bureaucratic delays and barriers, saying that a private sector involvement is also crucial. A significant amount of this fund to adapt to climate change and limit the impact of the warming. It is estimated that the region will need an average of 250 billion per year in climate finance between 2020 and 2030 against the party sum of <coughs> against the party sum of 30 billion it received in 2020, which is about 12% of the amount needed. Even at that, the private sector is also still expected to help in mobilizing about $213.4 billion annually through multilateral development banks, deploying more than $10 billion to bridge the financing gap. This amount is minimal compared to the quantum of devastations caused by climate crisis in the region, including our country, Nigeria. As at today, not up to 20% of the funds needed have been raised. And so, climate activists and rights movement across the world, including demand for climate justice, DCJ, Climate Action Network, CAN, and African Make Big Polluters, PMBPP, have called for the declaration of a state of emergency on climate financing. With an initial demand, you can see how much is being sunk into. Uh, investments in the next decade about 230 billion. This is an old figure which you know may have by 2050 expected that our 1.4 trillion would be especially new oil and gas projects. And I just mentioned in passing that when you look at the map of infrastructural map of Africa, you find that it's still the same old colonial things, pipelines starting from sources of extraction to coastlines for export. That's what you see. Everything is going for export. Nigeria, Morocco, with a pipeline to go to Europe. It's African gas, it's African crude oil pipeline from Uganda to Tanga in Tanzania to go to Europe. Pipelines in Mozambique to go to everywhere to go out of the continent. And so when we talk about progress and development, we have to find another definition. Now, the NDC is what I term it nationally determined, nationally determined catastrophe. You know, it's one of the most beautiful terms that has been used to seduce the world uh, in the Paris Agreement. Because before the Paris Agreement, arguments were based on that the world was segregated into Annex One countries and non-Annex One countries. Annex One countries were the countries uh, that are highly developed and highly... Also speaking... The Executive Director of Corporate Accountability and Public Participation Africa, CAPA, said that the Intergovernmental Panel on Climate Change, IPCC, estimated the global investment and financial flow of $200 to $210 billion will be needed by 2030 to meet the global greenhouse gas emissions, a target of below 1.5 degrees set in the Paris Agreement. Akimbo Day added that the private sector is expected to help in the mobilization of $213.4 billion annually with a multilateral development banks deploying more than $10 billion to bridge the financing gap. And I'm going to read the speech of the minister that is supposed to be read by my director or by myself. It is a privilege to address you at the 2024 National Conference on Climate Change. Today, team channeling action towards just, sustainable climate finance. This resonates deeply with the work and commitment of Nigeria as we strive to build a climate uh, resilient and environmentally sustainable future. 
Climate finance is more than a financial tool. It is a pathway towards achieving equitable and sustainable solutions for communities across our nation. For Nigeria, effective climate finance must be inclusive, ensuring it reaches the most vulnerable and helps empower those on the front lines of climate change. Nigeria has made remarkable strides in pioneering climate finance through initiatives like our sovereign green bond. We are all aware that we have a green bond with the